Hello guys, thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm just gonna find a scooter for 2001 that I can ride this summer, that I can actually enjoy and just ride around and show you guys and, you know, use it for daily views, ride it to the extreme. Um, just looking around out there and there's a lot of options, but I didn't really see that I got my eye catch on. But anyway, I got this scooter here that I want to show it to you guys. I like about this scooter. It's unique. It's totally different. Kind of like that Batman look to it, but it doesn't have a tail and headlights. And you guys can see here, and it's a wheel wheel drive and it's heavy. And I don't know why I didn't put no front and tail lights on this scooter. So for 1500, I'm just looking around and I actually got this guys <laughs> instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. The box, it looks like it's messed stuck on this, but we'll see. From shipping. Let's go ahead and tell you guys what I think of this scooter. And I have experience with other scooter in the past, but is it really worth buying this? So I'm gonna go ahead and check this out and what I think of it and go from here. So what this scooter comes with. Okay, it comes with um, a bell already, you guys can see instructions. And it comes with this Allen wrench and also the tools that you're gonna need for the scooter. And it comes with this cover here. I know why it's not put on the scooter. <coughs> and then, um, what else is having here? So this is the charger. Very interesting. It's typical chargers. You will get this in like a electric scooter or any other um, chargers out there for electric bicycle and also for electric um i think a one wheel and also the um i would say electric skateboard but the the, the charger looks i don't know you know we'll see how this charger works on this scooter they could have done it better but we'll see you know most of the charger nowadays are like more not say better but it seems okay. Mm. Let's see what this is packed up. You can see here, I'm about to go ahead and cut it again. You can see this forms here. And wow, got some weight to it, surprisingly. Wow, got some weight to it. Hmm, interesting. So, let's see. So this is the pro version. And I think they also have, um, they have different kind of style on this. I think they have one, it's just the rear wheel drive and also have the, both two motors, two wheel drive, but the front don't have um, brakes on it. You know, this brakes, it just, I think it's just the, um, just the motor. So this is the pro. So the pro always gonna come with this, um, I would say front desk brakes. And this is right here is really interesting because most of my scooters are just simple. We just put it up here. Like I had the Hover One and also the X Pro. It's a copy of the Xiaomi. I'm not saying copy, I think they all are the same manufacturers. But you can see here, wow, I'm surprised with the quality. Hmm. I'm just surprised how this thing just. In my opinion, you know, it's very solid. And, and then this is how you say, I like this because you can also, when you ride, you can also do this. You know, most of the scooters are just like stuck this way. You know, that's it. That's what you get. This one right here, 
you can actually rot it like this. So <laughs> very interesting, you know, you can actually add seats on here and you can change the, the how this handle perform. But a lot of people are not really happy with this. I guess because it's a little bit too short, but I'm gonna go and check it out. So I'm gonna have it like that much here. So, so it has to click in. Let me see if we can go ahead. And... Yeah. Let me go check it out. I'm not really familiar with this uh, clip yet. And it goes just like that. Hmm, interesting. Wow. It is beefy. Wow, look at this. Look at that balance. <laughs> okay, hold it. I mean, it's like basically almost, I would say, like a ton of like a. Those tires are so fat in this. And the suspension also. And this is my opinion guys and it comes with a key i'm not really too happy with the key <sighs> tell you the truth it's a scooter i just don't like this kind of stuff because if you forget this key somewhere and you, you can't really ride it so i'm probably just gonna use the push button typical one so i'm probably gonna take this off and hack it anyway i just don't like keys and i guess this is the monitor for the scooter you know um for I would say 2001 scooter, in my opinion, in my experience with them, and you know, riding it around for, for a year and having it all the time, I think the app would also help. I don't know if this brand has an app. The reason why the app is really useful with these scooters is the fact that, you know, in the app is gonna have temperature of the electric scooter, it's gonna show you, you know, if something going on, it shows you on the app. It's the same thing with my other, um, the X-Pro scooter that I had. It has that app. I don't know if this brand has an app. I'm gonna go check it out. You know, and I'm, I'm just saying, you know, I think it's most likely if you're gonna spend, you know, more than, I would say more than $500 or $300, I would say you should have an app at least. And this one is beyond that. So, and I got this for a thousand, I would say a thousand, a hundred fifty. So one thousand five, I would say just one thousand, one hundred fifty dollars with free shipping. Um, but this is the cheapest, uh, I would say for buying this scooter. Most likely it's around one thousand two hundred fifty or one thousand three hundred still around this time. So. But I'm just, I'm just, um, the quality of it, very interesting, you know. Um, I thought it was going to be, you know, I mean, you got to at least have this tool to, to know what's all about. And now I have it, and I'm just showing you guys. And of course, I like the color. You're always going to have this new gray color now. And... <clears throat> I'm gonna go and check it out if I can actually put my uh, my uh, wagon, my kid trailer and pull it. I'm gonna add the kit over here and see what this thing's all about. But I'm I'm just surprised how this uh, build quality on this scooter. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Like I said, I'm not really I'm not really too happy with this um, key thing. <laughs> in just my opinion. I mean, do you really need that? But so far, so good. So, wow. I do like the grip, grip tape, I would say, but I was just expecting, you know, for this, it would be nice if they add the rubber texture maybe the second version of this, maybe the new version coming out, 2002 version of it, or late 2001. But they still have this grip. It's good and all, but I, I, you know, for my, for what I expect for scooter, I think they should have that rubber gripped, um, stepped on, I think it's way better. 
in my opinion. Um, but so far, so good. Um, it's not, you know, it's still portable. Just to tell you guys the truth, I actually want different kind of scooter than this. But when I saw this one, you know, it's still portable for the size. It's still good. And it's been out for a while. And I like that. Like, I don't want to buy something that has just came out and, you know, testing it and it's still a beta. So at least this one here to fix their mistake and, you know, the company did something to it already. And um, the throttle, they still have this throttle here. Um, I know that some people have issue with this throttle, it's a little bit delayed. Hopefully they fix that already. I don't know why the company have not changed this or I don't know why the company did not provide one. In my opinion, I think they should just come with it, you know? And, um, I mean, if people has issue with the, the throttle, I think the company should just, you know, replace it already. I don't know why they did not do that. And then I think you have to purchase it for like $20, but I don't know why. <laughs> it should come with it, you know? And, yeah. The suspension is good on this. Wow, yes. I think you can feel the suspension. I'm surprised with it. I don't really, um, this is my first experience having a scooter with it, with the suspension. And with these wide wheels, wow. Very interesting. Let me see if it can turn on. Oh, it does turn on. And just see the battery here. Wow. Looks like it's almost full charge. And then you just go to echo. So you basically push it. I think you can change the mode on this. Yeah. <laughs> so the brakes are good. But do a good job on it. The grip handle feels good. It's very sturdy. And the weight is not bad, you know. I mean, for this kind of size of a scooter, I would say it's not bad. And and then you can just lock this up. And the weight of it is not bad, so. I mean, you can still carry it around. And I would say I'll weigh about 185 to almost 200 pounds, depending <laughs> if I ate that day, you know, for my weight, so. I think the capacity of this electric scooter, the weight is 240 or something like that. But hey, it can still yeah. pull you around. Wow, tires are solid too. So I'm gonna go and test this out and let you guys what I think of this thing. But it's a beast, in my opinion. I mean, they have different version of this. I think you can get like bigger tires, but I don't know if you can add bigger tires. It look like just the clearance you can ever have is this tire. So, wow, I'm just, you know, for the quality of it, I would say good. And um, like I just said, you know, hopefully this company has an app that you can just, you know, you can check the maintenance on it and you can do other things with it too. Or maybe do a firmer update, you know, you can sometimes, they can, um, the company, like my other scooter that I had, they actually do a firmer update and they add um, speed, you know, they, they increase the speed a little bit or something like that, you know. So, and you can also change the color of the lights. The, um, I would say I'm about six foot one. Um, that's my height. So being in the scooter for this height, I like it. I mean, in my opinion, look at it. It's, I like the, I like the way it is just up to here. Cause if for a long, you know, for a long ride, just, you know, you can just go ahead to mute. 
but it had this wide tire. Look at it. You can you can actually balance on this, and you know, you can see. <laughs> you can almost balance yourself with this scooter tire. So the tire is not really like straight flat. It's like more like a narrow to it. So you still have that curve. So he's still gonna, even though you turn, you know, you can still make it a turn. You can almost balance yourself. See, I'm actually balanced on this now on this scooter. And the suspension of it too is awesome. So yeah, <laughs> and of course, um, you can carry, you know, if, you, if you're somewhere, if you just want to carry, I can, because it has that wide tire already. I mean, look at it, this without no stand. And you can actually just walk, you know, you can actually walk this. If you're just going to go somewhere, you know, you can just actually just hold it right here and you just walk around with it, you know. And then if you're going back to your scooter, you can just hop it back right away, so... I think it works. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, the weight is not really that bad. You know, especially having front and a rear motor, I would say. But yeah, I'm just, um, it's just solid, I would say, over a scooter. See? Suspension a bit too, it's good. So I'm going to go check this out and show you guys what it's all about. But it's pretty wide. Yeah.